today in this lecture we are going to talk about the venous drainage of the heart or the main veins or the venous system which is basically draining the heart muscles so basically yesterday in our uh, lecture about the coronary arteries uh, we discussed the main coronary arteries which are supplying the basic uh, parts or the muscles of the heart now today we are going to quickly summarize the coronary arteries and then we are mainly going to focus on the venous drainage of the heart so to summarize the uh, coronary arteries or the uh, blood supply of the heart um, we see that the two main arteries of the heart are the right coronary arteries and uh, and the left coronary artery here we have the right coronary artery which is basically running in the right atrioventricular groove here we have the right atrium on the right uh, on this side and the ventricle the right ventricle on the this side a right atrium ra and a right ventricle so the coronary right coronary artery which is arising from the aorta this is c this is the ascending aorta so right coronary artery is arising from the ascending aorta and it is basically supplying the blood uh, blood to wall of right atrium and right ventricle and its main branch is uh, the marginal branch and it is basically having anterior ventricular branches and the posterior ventricular branches and in 80 to 90 percent of the people the posterior interventricular artery the posterior interventricular artery which has been shown here it is a branch of the right coronary artery in 10 to 20 percent of the people this posterior interventricular artery is a branch of the left coronary artery now the left coronary artery it also takes its origin from the ascending aorta here we have the aorta and the left coronary artery takes its origin from the aorta and it is running in the interventricular groove this artery is running in the atrioventricular groove and the right coronary the left coronary is running in the interventricular groove because we have the left ventricle on this side and the right ventricle on this side so this artery is running in the uh, at the interventricular groove the main branches of the left coronary arteries are the circumflex artery which is basically going uh, towards the lateral side and it is supplying the blood uh, to the lateral parts of the um, left ventricle and it is running in the left atrioventricular groove here we have the left atrium and here we have the left ventricle atrium and ventricle so the groove between the atrioventricular atrium and the ventricle is the atrioventricular groove is the right coronary artery is running in the uh, right atrioventricular groove similarly the circumflex branch of the left coronary artery is running in the left atrioventricular groove now another important branch of the uh, left coronary artery is the anterior interventricular artery and this basically this uh, artery is running in the interventricular groove and it is supplying the blood to left ventricle mostly now once the uh, blood has been supplied to the heart this uh, the uh, the muscle uh, basically consumes the oxygen and the deoxygenated blood has to be bring uh, back or it has to be brought back to the heart uh, the right atrium because the right atrium will be pumping the blood to the right ventricle and then the right ventricle be, will be pumping the blood to the lungs where it will get oxygenated again so the mechanism for bringing it back to the heart is the venous drainage of the heart and the main the main uh, source through which the heart is drained is the uh, coronary sinus so most venous blood from the heart wall drains into the right atrium through the coronary sinus most of the or 70% of the blood is drained from the heart uh, into the right atrium through the coronary coronary sinus here we you see this is the coronary sinus it is basically dotted in appearance which means that it is on the back side or the posterior side this picture or this uh, diagram is basically showing the front of the heart so this coronary sinus or the venous drainage uh, uh, is basically present on the back of the heart and another uh, other important veins uh, which drain blood from the heart include the great cardiac vein now as we saw that the left coronary artery gave a branch circumflex uh, artery and then it um, continued as anterior interventricular artery in the interventricular groove this artery was running in the interventricular groove similarly 
one of the most important uh, veins is the great cardiac veins and this great cardiac vein uh, is basically running in the interventricular groove but the artery is coming from the top towards down towards the apex of the heart and this vein is basically moving up from the apex towards the uh, higher side and then this great cardiac vein it is continued on the back of the heart as the uh, coronary sinus and this coronary sinus it drains it it brings back the blood into the right atrium similarly and uh, the vein the vein which uh, basically uh, bring back the blood from the posterior side of the left ventricle from the posterior side of the left ventricle is the middle card middle cardiac vein now the this uh, middle cardiac vein also runs from the apex of the heart to the in the posterior interventricular groove it is running in the posterior interventricular groove see here we have the posterior interventricular uh, groove and this uh, this vein this vein also moves upward from the apex towards the top but on the back side of the heart and it is draining the posterior wall of the left ventricle or mainly draining the back uh, side of the heart or the uh, on the left side so it is basically draining the left side of the heart on the posterior side so that's why it has been again showing in the dotted uh, as dotted uh, vein and the 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 great cardiac vein it is basically uh, bringing back the bl blood from the anterior uh, portion of the left ventricle so it has not been shown in the uh, dotted as a dotted vein now similarly other important veins are the anterior cardiac vein now anterior cardiac vein these are the anterior cardiac veins and these veins uh, these veins basically bring blood directly into the right atrium these veins the anterior cardiac veins they basically bring back the blood directly into the right atrium they these veins the the great cardiac vein and the middle cardiac vein are draining its blood basically into the coronary sinus and the coronary sinus uh, which is a large a large vein it is bringing back the blood into the right at, um, atrium but the anterior cardiac veins these are the anterior cardiac veins which are bringing back the blood from this portion of the uh, right ventricle these veins were draining the left ventricle some on some the anterior walls of the uh, left ventricle and some the posterior walls of the left ventricle while the anterior cardiac veins are draining blood from the anterior walls of the right at, uh, ventricle mostly now another important vein another important vein is basically the small cardiac vein this is the small cardiac vein and this vein is basically uh, going along the marginal branch of the right coronary artery see here we have the we have the right coronary artery and its important branch is a marginal branch which is supplying blood to the basal surface of the heart to the bottom surface of the heart and the vein accompanying this artery is basically the small cardiac vein so this vein is running from the apex or on the basal from this side on the basal or the bottom surface of the heart or the uh, base of the heart and it is again going and it is continued here on the posterior side and it is bringing its blood to the coronary sinus so see most of the blood is brought to this coronary sinus this is the coronary sinus and this coronary sinus is basically present on the back of the heart it is getting its blood from the great cardiac vein the middle cardiac vein which are which are draining the left side of the heart on the anterior and posterior side and uh, this is this coronary sinus is also getting blood from the small cardiac vein but the anterior cardiac veins the anterior cardiac veins basically bring back their blood directly into the right ventricle uh, sorry the right atrium so this uh, this is uh, a simple and easy lecture about the venous drainage of the heart and it simply shows that most of the blood uh venous drainage of the heart is through the uh, coronary sinus which is present on the posterior surface of the heart and it brings back its blood into the uh, right atrium and it's it is basically continuation it is this coronary sinus is basically continuation of the great cardiac vein and 
uh, other important uh, vein, uh, veins uh, which in uh, which basically helps in the venous drainage are the uh, middle cardiac veins uh, the mid the middle cardiac vein which is basically bringing blood blood from the posterior wall of the right, uh, left ventricle and the small cardiac vein which is basically being uh, bringing back uh, back the uh, venous drainage uh, venous blood from the basal areas of the uh, uh, of the heart to the coronary sinus and the anterior cardiac veins the anterior cardiac veins are basically bringing back, uh, back the blood directly into the right atrium and not into the coronary sinus so that's all about the venous drainage of the heart thanks a lot for watching the video